Hello, welcome to the seventh module of the class. This week we will cover chapters 14 and 15 of the textbook, which are focused on resource planning and scheduling. In chapter 14, the key topic of resource planning is covered. The textbook covers aspects of resource planning for production and service environments. Enterprise resource planning, or ERP, usually consists of software designed to organize and manage business processes which shares information across functional areas. Implementation of ERP provides benefits of reducing inventory and staffing, increased productivity, improved order management, and overall improvement in cash flow. The idea is that all functional areas of company see the same information and data, which will help improve operational efficiency and customer responsiveness. The chapter will also cover Material Requirements Planning Systems, or, ER, or MRP. MRPs are critical in all companies, particularly those that produce goods, as it helps manage all the flows necessary to release planned orders. In Chapter 15, the key topic of scheduling is covered. Scheduling is equally important in product and service-based organizations. For production Proper scheduling ensures that production of goods is done to satisfy higher priority orders first to help maintain and hopefully improve customer satisfaction. Scheduling involves demand planning, ensuring that all inputs, raw materials, etc. are available so that products can be made. Once the orders are scheduled and made, companies need to ensure that orders are satisfied and products shipped to customers based on the orders received. For service-based organizations, scheduling may involve getting a service technician assigned to perform specific services at a client's location. How do these companies decide which client to schedule first? Are there resources with the required skill sets available to perform the work needed? In construction, a product manager is heavily involved with all aspects of scheduling with primary and subcontractors. It was great having all of you in this class this semester. A reminder that due dates for Module 7 assignments are posted on Canvas assignments. Please also remember to read through the final paper requirements now so that you can submit a higher quality paper in the, by the deadline on Friday, December 4th. As I noted in earlier announcements, no late papers will be allowed for the final paper. The final paper is worth 80 out of the 300 points that are associated with the mandatory assignments for this course. So please make sure that you spend enough time on the final paper. At the end, um, I hope you enjoyed the class and feel free to reach out to me should you have any questions or want to schedule some time. I am available within 24 hours and I will try to uh, respond to emails within 24 hours and grade all assignments within three days as per the norm for the class. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving uh, week and look forward to Module 7.